Hi boys and girls and welcome back to Mr. Rabel in our grade 3 ELA class stands for English Language Arts where we read from collections beneath the surface. Today we get to learn about treasures of the deep. Oh boy, treasures of the deep. This is a good one. It is non-fiction, so we're looking at some real stuff here from our world. By Todd Mercer, illustrated by Malcolm Cullen. What do you imagine when you think of sunken treasures? Storms? Sharks? Pirates? And gold! The Caribbean Sea, or the Caribbean Sea, you can say it either way, is one of the best places in the world to hunt for sunken treasure. Long ago, hundreds of Spanish ships called galleons sailed these waters. They were carrying treasures of gold and silver to Spain. These ships faced great dangers. Terrible storms called hurricanes could snap a ship's masts in two. Coral reefs could rip huge holes in boat hulls. Sometimes pirates even attacked the treasure ships. Many galleons sank with valuable treasure on board. Wow, next page. A ship sinks. One of these lost treasure ships was the Concepcion. The galleon left Havana, Cuba in 1641, carrying a cargo of gold and silver. On its way to Spain, the ship met a hurricane. Its masts snapped in the fierce storm, and the ship drifted for days. At last, it hit a coral reef and sank. People on board threw bars of silver onto the reef to make a place to stand. To this day, the deadly reef is known as Silver Bank. Get it? Silver Bank? The ship and its treasure sank to the bottom, or the, to the sea bottom. The silver bars left on the reef above were soon stolen and the site of the wreck was forgotten. Ooh, now searching for treasure. Of course, people knew that the Concepcion lay somewhere near Silver Bank. Years later, the wreck was found, and some of the treasure that had spilled out of it was carried away. However, the treasure in the main part of the wreck was never recovered. In 1978, the site of the wreck was rediscovered and more treasure was found. However, a treasure hunter named Tracy Bowden believed there was still more to be found. He and his crew started diving to the Concepcion. They used metal detectors, earphones, and undersea lights. The metal detectors located the huge iron cannon of the galleon, which lay, still lay on the sea floor. By this time, the wood of the ship had rotted away. All that was left was a mass of coral. And in the picture there, you can see the ship's cannon covered with coral. There it is. Right there. Wow. Okay. Wow. That is cool. More cool pictures and some more reading here. Here we go. So, the ship's cannon covered with coral and now above silver coins and a Chinese vase from the Concepcion. Right there. Working on the wreck was dangerous. 
the divers had to worry about sharks and they had to lift large pieces of coral to uncover the ship's cargo. Still, their hard work paid off. In one place, they found a damaged treasure chest, over 3,000 silver coins and a valuable Chinese vase had spilled out of it. They found gold and diamond jewelry and other precious things buried in the sand. A thick coral crust covered many treasure items. Only x-rays could show what was hidden inside. Wow. What treasure tells us, or what treasures tell us? Treasure hunters only keep half of the treasure they find. The other half goes to the country that controls the waters where the treasure ship lies. So some of the treasures from the Concepcion are now in museums for all people to see and enjoy. Their value is far greater than their worth in money because they tell us much about the past. For example, the vase from the Concepcion shows us that Spanish, the Spanish once traded with Chinese merchants. Tools found in the wreck even tell us that people on board the Concepcion liked hot chocolate. There it is, hot chocolate. So underneath there, equipment for making hot chocolate. Wow, more terrific treasures. The wrecks of other fabulous treasure ships have also been found in the Caribbean or Caribbean. The galleon Tolosa sank during a hurricane in 1724, 300 years ago. Among its treasures were pieces of diamond studded jewelry containing over a thousand pearls. A fleet of 10 treasure ships sank off the coast of Florida in 1715. Among the treasure items found, there were a gold toothpick worth more than $50,000, about a thousand gold coins and silver coins called pieces of eight. However, the greatest find of all was made by an adventurer named Mel Fisher. And he's in the picture there, Mel Fisher. He discovered a treasure worth more than 450 million in the wreck of the galleon Atacha. That's almost half a billion dollars. That's the richest treasure ever recovered from one Spanish treasure ship. These are just a few of the great treasure galleons that sank on their way to Spain. Most of them have never been found. Who knows? What riches of silver and gold still lie at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea? Or Caribbean Sea. Doesn't really matter. That's a whole lot of treasure. Have a great day. Bye-bye.